Hey guys, this is Bobby from Ray Tom Productions. Today, I wanted to show you a quick tip. Um, I have a track that has um, drums that are all printed to a single stem, and the hi hats are way too loud. Uh, and I want to compress them without destroying the dynamics from the snare and the kick. And so I want to show you a trick that I've just uh, figured out. So here's the, the loop of the drums. So you can hear how loud that the, uh, the hi-hats are so loud. <laughs> so um, what I'm using today is Pro MB by Fab Filter, and this is uh, just a, a multi-band compressor. I'm going to compress in mid-side mode. So to do this, uh, you add a single band, and so I want it to be about where the hi-hats are, so in this uh, higher frequency range. And you go to Expert here and expand this, and now right here you can choose it if you want to do mid which is stands for the middle channel so this would this would focus more on like the kick and snare or you can do side which will be all the side information so if you listen the hi-hats are on the right side uh, so that's what we want to pick and then we send it to 100 percent by dragging this over and so this tells us that now it's only going to be compressing the side um, so if we listen to it now you can see that it's only compressing when the hi-hats are hitting. And to really make it focus, we can enable this free mode uh, right here. And so this is the side chaining frequency. So um, it'll only the compressor will only look in this region to decide if the signal is above or below the threshold. So because these are hi-hats, um, the frequency is really high. So we'll have it focus on only the highest information so that it will specifically target those hi-hats. So now I'm just dialing in um, the, the right amount of threshold uh, to really lock down and clamp down on those hi-hats so that they're not jumping out of the mix and at the same time uh, without destroying the drum kick and snare uh, transients as well. So I'm going to make sure the attack is really fast because I want it to stop the hi-hats from jumping out of the mix. And then also the release is fast because I want it to be transparent. I don't want it to be um, ducking back and forth as this compressor is being activated. Otherwise, it won't be very transparent. So I'm going to go do that right now. Okay, right here seems to be a pretty good spot. I'm also going to adjust the knee uh, to make it harder. And so what this does is it allows things, uh, signals that are not necessarily at the threshold to be compressed. So it's a very smooth sounding um, compressor. But I want it to only clamp down on those hi-hat ticks. So uh, I want it to be pretty hard um, so that only things that really do pass this threshold value are going to be compressed. So I'm going to play it back and bypass it. You'll hear how it's only controlling the hi-hats now and not destroying the rest of the drum kit. So hopefully you hear that. Um, it's not super drastic, but it's enough to control these hi-hats in the mix so that you can actually make it sound pretty good. So hopefully that helps you out. If it did, give it a thumbs up uh, and leave a comment below. If you have questions about anything I've done here, uh, be sure to ask, and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Until next time.